Well, what's going on? What is happening? How is everybody? Look at that fantastic weather out there. I should be out there doing the chassis on my lorry because I don't have a spray boat. Shed is too small. Can't fit a lorry in the shed. Yet we have heaps of lorries. But instead, I am in here. Reconstructing a curse. Reconstructing a curse. I, right, you know what? I don't even need to describe or tell ye which is the engine that's not good anymore. You see the condition of this one in comparison to the condition of this one. That's the bad one. This week, with the help of some really good friends, my engine fell over. There we go. Have it up. The engine, yeah, it fell over, but see, this is why I need to get hold of my nephew to be my cameraman. Yeah, because even this morning, we did the flywheel in this engine, we did, it fell over again, we did the flywheel in us, um, we have new clutches in us, what else do we do? I've done a couple of bits this morning, but I missed out on them all, because I was trying to do everything and then the phone was ringing. So there we are, there we are. I want that. Aha! Aha! Bear with me. There you go. Easier than wet in the bed. I can do that in my sleep. So, yeah. Here is where we are at. We have gotten a second SV. And I'm not going to lie, it was bought without a flywheel, without throttle bodies. Um, it's missing a couple of bits, but I had them. I have the bits. So the further we dig into my original SV engine that we put in the smart, the more the more disappointed I'm getting at it. So, it is what it is. Let's try again. Of course we will. Of course we're going to try again. So far, if I had to give my opinion on the one we collected the other night, even internally, externally, it seems a way cleaner engine. It seems so much cleaner. Um, not that that matters, but... Seems to have a little bit of a better looked after lifestyle. Seems to, but I could be wrong. We could build all this up, put all that in there, and it may not go. But we don't think like that. Sure we don't. None of us do. So yeah, let's get this together. Hopefully in the next couple of hours, it's going to be sat in the back of that car. Hopefully. Yes, I know I'm doing it in the side casing with impact gun. But as you can see, I have the settings turned down extremely low. So, ooh. So, it's just gonna save a little bit of spanner time. Stop! Spend it time. So, yeah. There we go. And there is our clutch. A new clutch. New clutch fitted. I missed one. 
New clutch fitted. Because I had it in that engine and that engine never left shed. So I'm not going to fire away a brand new clutch. And it's, it was a racing clutch, it was one with bigger discs that I had bought. So pretty okay it's falling it fell get up here that's better so yeah episode 13 yeah and we are back on the climb again You've just missed out on an hour of huffing and puffing because the engine is back in the car. The engine is back in the car. We've that much done and throttle bodies. And then we'll see how we go with the rest of it. So we'll, uh, I actually put, I actually put your rubber mounts on this, this injector. So, did my back injector stay in tight? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. So, we have the engine back in. It's back mounted. It's coming back together. What was it? Two two hours ago? Oh, I need to extend this wire for the car. Two hours ago. That's not going to do this. We started off a little over two hours ago. We started off with two bad engines in the hope of trying to make one good engine so we might have we may have we're going to find out fairly shortly won't we so I'll just give you a better look at that that's where our holy moly is Conditions inside this engine were not oil damp, water damp. So, we do have something going on somewhere. That's why I decided to find a donor. Ra a lot more difficult than I expected, I won't lie. Wasn't easy guess. We had undone the spring now that would have made a lot more sense but we didn't there is by far the most important spanner in the yard right in the whole workshop that is because of the step spanner is probably older than me but, I know you're thinking, why, how would it be? Relaine Robbins. It's an 11 and a 10. So, all the, all the bleed nipples on the Relaine are 11s. So, British made it. Putting it back on to a cam sensor. And this engine then is going to be gutted, regardless whether the one behind me is any good or not. But this engine is going to be gutted because I want to bring it to a couple of shows. It is the original course to Japan, after all. So, and there we have it. There we have it. Mm. Yep. This pops down here.
there is a nightmare. No cam sensor, no spark. No spark, you have an unhappy me. These are not, not, and I can tell you right now, going to be easy. <clears throat> nope. gonna give up that easy. Put a little bit of brute force behind us. Do you know what we'll do? Let's make this a hell of a lot easier and just take the engine down from there. Take it down before it falls down. You know the gear like you're stabbing me. And let's try again. Now we're above it. We can give it some diddy. Oh. <laughs> I broke the biggest Phillips screwdriver I have inside of it. Whoops. Phillips screwdriver number two. Let's go to the, oh. I forgot we did the front, didn't we? Nope. Yeah. Even if I can crack a little bit, it would be a shame to get this far, the engine is back in the car, and not have the car. <sighs> no. Screwdriver number two, busted. We can't. Nice one, bud. Nice one. There's any valves inside now. We didn't bend them. We only bend those in our ones. Yeah. There it is. I think it's time everybody turns away. You stay there. Don't know if you can see me, but anyway. Right. Okay. Let's, let's put it straight. Damage these, forget about it. We don't have spares. This one is new, that one is fine. So... What we're trying to achieve today, if we damage these, it's written off to next week, okay?
if I could break them, I will, because I can replace them with, with a nut or a bolt. Sorry. And I only had these front ones off. Oh! Hold the phone. Hold. We've, we've, we haven't broken the inlet. We haven't broken it. But we broke, we broke the bolt. So. This is top notch doggery. I love it. Oh! Cameraman fell over. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm all my good, bud. We got the front one off. Rubbers are fine. Right, that's the front. Just remind me that's the front, okay? <clears throat> just, just remind me. thinking anyone else will just replace them fire them off bang on two new ones it's Saturday evening <sighs> nowhere's open so there's a steel Is the engine spinning or is the ball spinning? See, these have a steel ring in them. Also cannot be damaged. Sound. Absolutely lovely. Now I could, oh, oh, yes. If I had brains, if brains were dynamite, I wouldn't have enough to blow me fucking nose. Sorry. Definitely wouldn't have enough to blow my nose. Right. Let's take that little edge off that. It's gotta be, it's gotta be hilarious. Like, you see all these workshops on YouTube and they're like, seriously kid it out. Valve is in the shed with a hammer and a screwdriver. And a magnet. And a magnet. I'm gonna shit. Ah. 
the shock treatment. <coughs> Look at those. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. Right, there's a rubber on the last ways inside this. Set of, oh, yes. Hold up. We did it. You and me. We did it. We did it. Oh, God. Every time I bend down, it costs me money. Right. Come with me. If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. If... My cameraman's unstable. It's why we get along. Don't tell nobody, okay? This, no one is to find out about this. This is between me and you. But I am going to show you one thing before we put the rest together, okay? Just for everyone's curiosity. This, this is the inlet. Right? I don't want to lose that screw, okay? There's the inlet for Suzuki 1000. Here is the spare inlets I have for a DeVille, a DeVille 650. <laughs> don't anyone, don't even go there. I am not slagging DeVilles. I drove that DeVille the whole way to London and back. But it just goes to show, there's the inlets from the carburetors in a 650 Honda DeVille one of the most reliable things went out the other day you seen it you seen it in the video just tip the key off she goes tip the button i left it down in iron filings we reused them and lost two screwdrivers in the battle didn't we right this morning Sorry, today, we started off with two bad engines to make one. One course is on the floor, and the second course is back in the car. man I bought it from, not painting a bad picture, not at all, not, not personal or anything. That engine's lying idle a long time, the new one. So, he said he couldn't stand by it. I took the gamble, I said fine. Right. Our injectors are activating, we can hear that. has started it just hasn't run okay so you, you stay there God. now you could fall over again
let's clear off the roof because it's raining spanners. We started off with two bad engines. I've only a bare sup of oil in that, just to let filters fill and stuff like that. Right. Let's clean stuff up and try this again, okay? Obviously an engine I hadn't been going in so long. Well, at least I inherited two flat screwdrivers because they're about to get grown down to be flat now instead of Phillips. <laughs> right. I have one engine mountain board put in. I said I wasn't going to pull it in yet for fear it had to come back out. Is anyone else like that when you're working on something? Did anyone see on a social media forum yesterday we have got a new make of engine coming to the stable? Never owned one before, never had a Triumph. But now it won't be here a couple of weeks. But um yeah. Right. Try again. Let's try again. Try and squeeze in. Maybe if she take over a while, she might come right. Obviously, I did, I won't lie. I didn't change the spark plugs. I didn't change them for fear they're going to shoot me again. <laughs> Check that kill switch. haven't got a touch. See you later.